In the Royal National Park just south of Sydney, a community of homemade shacks fringe the golden sands of Era. The heritage listed shacks were all built before the land became part of the National Park. With no roads into Era, everything needed to construct the shacks had to be carried in. The days of building new shacks have gone, but a way of life lives on. Ken Holloway has been coming to the shack his father built at Era ever since he can remember to commune with sun, surf and nature. The agenda is set by the weather. If the swell's good, I'm straight out there having a surf. The water to me is a form of meditation. When you dive into the water, your mind relaxes. The beach and the surf has been a huge part of my life. Being taught how to swim and surf and fish by my father. He was the first person to put a face mask on and, and dive off the rocks and have a look what was actually under the water. And I can remember waiting on the rocks for him to come out and be nothing for him to come out with a 30 pound Jewfish that would keep us fed for a week or so at the shack. And then again, it could be party time. The music had come out and everybody would sing and have a good time. My father had a bass and ukuleles were very popular. One party was strictly men only, where the ancient ritual of beer drinking followed by a tree climbing race was the order of the day. People created their own fun. Fish or surf during the day and bring their catch over to somebody's shack and, and have a barbecue and a few drinks. There's very few places in Australia where people come back to one area year after year. people who have had the shacks down here have been coming all their lives. Who are you fishing for today? Flathead. Flathead, yeah. Flathead, down to the flathead and a um, little bit of a surf to negotiate there, Bruce. I reckon, yeah. Although you don't mix socially in Sydney or Wollongong with them, when you come down you look forward to, to seeing your, your mates. One person described it as a purest form of communism. No money exchanges hands and the richest person is usually the person who is the best fisherman. Yeah, it's a pretty good system. So you're cooking later? Yeah, it's back at lunch. I bring the girls? Yeah, of course. I bring yeah. the girls, okay. Yeah. Helen and Bruce are friends of mine. I've known Helen all my life down here. Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers. It's been a busy morning. They had some friends, international guests, and they haven't actually experienced this type of lifestyle before. Yeah. Out of the water straight on the barbecue, off the barbecue, onto the plate. Mm. What better way to spend the day to have your friends over, have a feed of fish and a few drinks? Oh, it's delicious. There is a common bond, I suppose, being able to come to a place where there are no signs, there are no traffic lights, there are no cars, there are no police. I think, sadly, as our cities become more densely populated, there's going to be generations of people who will never experience that type of bonding with people and, and certainly never experience the, this type of environment. Mm -hmm.